Hey everyone, welcome back to Razorback Rundown. For this week, I'm super excited to have Maggie O'Hara with me here today. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. Of course. So the Jimbacks wrapped up their season last week in Norman, Oklahoma at the Regionals, so let's get into the meet recap. So the Jimbacks started off day one at Regionals on the bars rotation and Maddie and Kennedy both went up and went 9-9 and then Sarah went up and went 9-9-5 tying her career high. Yeah, it was a pretty lights out rotation, it was awesome to start on bars with such powerful routines, so super proud of how we started. Then we went to Beam and kept things rolling and Kennedy went 9-8-7-5. Yeah, her beam is always super reliable, super powerful, so. Yeah, she just went up and did her normal and put up a score for the gym backs. We then went to the floors rotation and had Maddie and Kennedy both go 9-9, and then Bailey closed out the rotation with the 9-9-2-5. Yeah, it was really awesome to see the floor team rally. We had a little bit of an uncharacteristic injury from Leah in the middle, but Kennedy and Bailey really brought it home strong, so. Yeah. Then the gym backs closed out day one on the vault rotation, and Kennedy put up the highest score of the day with the 9-9. Yeah, vault was a little tricky. We had to put up five vaults, but the, absolutely the team had Leah's back from the start to the finish, and it was super awesome. You know, We didn't know what the rest of the meet held, and we got to watch and just trust that our work was enough to go to day two. Yeah, and I think that rotation is always the most fun because it's the anticipation of knowing if everything you did that day paid off. You made to day two, and it did, and it was just a really fun way to close out the meet before we headed into day two. We then went into day two where we started off on the beam rotation and Amanda went up and went 9-9 and then Kennedy went up and went 9-9-5. Yeah, it's a little tricky to start on beam sometimes but I think the gym backs really rallied and did what they needed to do. Yeah, it was a great way to start off the day on a good note for day two. We then went to floor and we had Sarah, Kennedy, and Bailey all do lights out routines going 9-9. Yeah, floor was awesome on day two. Super special to see Sarah compete two days in a row and absolutely slay both of her routines. And Kennedy and Bailey did their normal, did what they needed to do, so. We then went to vault and we had Amanda and Kennedy both go up and go 985. Vault on day two was a little tough, but we absolutely fought through every single one. We had sure. to put five up again, but we did what we needed to do. Yeah, the vault team really pulled through this week and just had each other's backs and went up and just did their normal and did what we needed. Um, it definitely wasn't what we expected to do at this competition, but they rallied and didn't let it affect them. We then closed out day two on the bars event, and our highest score of the day there was from you, Maggie. This was your last routine as a gym back. Can you just tell me what went through your head after you saluted for your final time? Before my routine, I really wasn't thinking about anything. I was just thinking about hitting my routine, but as soon as my feet hit the mat on my dismount, I immediately started crying, and I knew that that was my last one. And it was an awesome way to go out, but as I turned around and looked at all of my teammates, it was like, tugged at my heart for <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it was really exciting. That was exciting, but also so emotional, and we're all so proud of you, and that was like, what a way to end out your career. Thank you. So now, let's get into our favorite moment from the meet that wasn't gymnastics related. So for me personally, I think my favorite part of just the whole weekend was after our last competition, all the families came together and they surprised us in like our big conference room and just all the families and athletes and coaches came together and just had dinner, mingled. It was just a good time to have everyone together um, because we don't usually get that that often just during season because it's so hectic and we're on the road, we're home. Um, so I think that was one of my favorite moments from this weekend. Yeah, that was a super special moment. I think. My favorite moment from the whole weekend might have been after day one when we realized we had made it. We all came into a circle and kind of cried and really embraced the fact that like all of our hard work had truly paid off. Yeah. Like we have had a crazy season and it has not been easy by any means, but it was so special to share that with everybody in that circle mm -hmm. and just knowing like we literally all have each other's backs. So it was super cool. Yeah, I agree with you. That was a really special moment and that was one of my favorites too. So now we're going to get into some questions for you, Maggie. So after you graduated from Michigan, you decided that you were going to transfer to Arkansas. And then you actually ended up staying for two years due to COVID. You got that extra year. Um, was your experience here at Arkansas all you have expected it to be before you came here? Ooh, my experience here has like far exceeded my expectations. I honestly didn't really know what to expect. And with it being 
like in the height of COVID, mm-hmm. I didn't get to meet anyone. I didn't even get to meet the coaches until I came on campus other than through like Zoom and that kind of yeah. stuff. But it's been so special and the team has really embraced me as a person and as a gymnast and that's been absolutely incredible. And I've just loved being an Arkansas Razorback, so. Yeah, well this team wouldn't be a team without you here too. So you coming here has really impacted this program in so many ways. Thank you. So now that your time here has come to a close, what has been the biggest impact that Arkansas Gymnastics has had on you? That's a great question. Um, I've learned so many things from this team and this program. and I think that the biggest impact that all of these people leave on me is just like knowing that you can have a family away from your family and knowing that so many different people can all come together and achieve the same things is super, super cool. And it's... It's hard to be in a group of 16, 18, 20 girls and not want to butt heads, but you can always find a way to get it done. And I mean, there are little things that I've learned like every single day, but I think the biggest thing is just like that family aspect that we really do have here. So So what have you gotten your master's degree in and what are your next steps? So I'm completing my master's in kinesiology with a focus in exercise science. And after this, I will be going to OT school. So I'm super excited. Getting a doctorate in occupational therapy. That's awesome. Are you going to stay in Fayetteville or are you going to be leaving here? Sadly, no. I will be going to MUSC down in Charleston, South Carolina. So I will not be in Fayetteville anymore, but I'm super excited. That's really exciting. Next step. And we're really excited to see what you do with your future. And for all that you succeeded after you attend MUSC. Thank you. I'll be sure to come back and visit often though. Well, thank y'all so much for watching this week's episode of Razorback Rundown. Thank you so much, Maggie, for being here today and just talking with us. Thanks for having me. Of course. We'll see y'all next week for more Razorback Rundown.